These two pieces of wood right here are two and a quarter inches wide and a half inch thick. I'm going to cut off two pieces that are 20 inches long. Right here. Okay. That will make these four and a quarter by half inch by 20 inches. I think somebody asked me if I ever used a miter saw, which I thought was kind of funny. I guess I hadn't been recording myself cutting on the miter saw, so here you go. <laughs> so I'm cutting these 20 inches off. This will be the sides of the ladder. I totally forgot to put my ear protection on. That was a bad thing. The next pieces I'll be cutting are four pieces from the same width and thickness. I'm going to be cutting six and a half inches and I'm going to be doing four of those. Okay y'all, I sanded these pieces and then I wet them down and hope that it will allow, it will open the pores in the wood and allow the stain to go over to go on more smoothly and i'm using dark walnut stain okay let me show you what i've done here if you can see, I've made pencil marks here, here, a line here, pencil mark there, there, there's one there, and then I've got them all the way down, and what I have here is a line made at 4 inches, 8 inches, um, 12 inches, and 16 inches, because if you remember, the whole thing is 20 inches long so i've divided it up for my four steps i put these here because i want to know where to put this piece in the middle of those two marks and i hope it helps me and i'm going to be using my nail gun to and wood glue to put them together Now what I have here is some twine or some vines that I cut on my bushes out in the backyard and I'm going to twist them. I like this better than what you would get off of a tree like the limbs. You could get tree limbs, thin little tree limbs and you could manipulate them um, to a certain degree but I like these because they act more like vines and they're twisty bendy and all of that you know i can really manipulate them and they have this natural curl to them so i'm not sure about this end but i really like these curly cues and i want to keep them in the design but as far as this part here i'm going to be twisting it as best i can like this and this part it's facing me so this is the top and this is the bottom of the ladder but I want to have this over here like this and somehow make sort of like an S. And I'm going to use this thin little floral wire that I have. I got this, um, I don't know where I got this. I know the dollar store and Walmart sells this. This is really thin. Let me see the weight of it. Oh, I don't see it on here. Um, oh, 26 gauge is the thinness of it. So what I want to do is use a piece of wire to secure this at the top then bring it over here and secure it with some more wire here and then make an s so i would secure a more wire right here and then come across here and secure it over here and then somehow i'll just cut off the ends okay i don't think i did a good job of twisting this or rather i think it just untwists as soon as you let it go even though I secure the ends so I'm just going to just start attaching it 
Let's do it here like this. And I have and I put some wire underneath. I really should twist the wire behind, but I think I'm just going it doesn't matter because I'm going to try to put some decorations or something on top where the wire is. So it, it won't matter too much that that uh you know it shows see how it's twist untwisted I think either I might go no I don't want to go up there I'll probably do this and somehow um keep this keep some of these curly cues not all of them I'm just going to attach this part over here like I said I want to make sort of an S I'm actually winging it, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I do know my inspirational piece and what that looks like. I just know that I can't always or hardly ever do exactly what they did, which is a good thing. Okay, so that's how we'll do that. Oh, so, all right, I think I'm going to have to put some more um, wire right here to hold this curly cues down. I think I'm going to keep these curly cues cut off this thicker one. I'll do trimming after I finish everything and make sure everything is in place. Now I'm going to secure the second location of the S. Now go underneath the, the ladder. And then we bring this, let me see, let's twist it a little. Bring this over here. And secure it. And then bring this over here and secure it over here. Now I'm going to make three signs for the front of the ladder and the middle one is going to be this one and it says hey rides i considered um routing out this and if that's something you would like to do if you like this project and you want to make it you could consider routing out the words here i'm not going to do that i'm just going to paint it um or use my paint pens i think maybe and this, we're going to have two signs like this. This is going to be made, these two are going to be made into arrows. One pointing this way, for cider, five cents, and one pointing that way, pumpkins with the hands. Like I said, I'm going to use my paint pens probably. I'm going to use this carbon paper to trace it onto the wood. But for this big one, it's going to be shaped like this. So I have to use the carbon paper to trace it onto this piece of wood and then cut the shape out. I marked off the center of this piece here and I'm going to do some angle cuts on both sides to make an arrow shape. I have my miter saw set at 45 degree angle. I got it right spot on surprisingly enough. And then, so one of these will go in here, but I think I'm going to cut it shorter, so I might slide it up this way and cut a little off here. I'm going to measure it according to the width of this, so I might cut it here. I don't want it too close. I want to have a border on both sides of this, these words. And I'm going to do the other one just like this and move on. I decided to cut off these on both sides to make them much narrower because I felt like they they hid too much of the stairs on the ladder and if I'm just going to cover the whole thing up where you can't even see that it's a ladder what was the point of making it so I made these much narrower another thing I realized is I probably want to use some golden oak stain on here so and this one as well so that means I'm going to have to sand it all cut this shape out and then put the stencil on there so this was pointless to do this so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the shape out sand everything and then get back to just stenciling everything on there
I cut the template and the carbon paper down so that I could see the edges of this wood piece because otherwise I couldn't tell as well if it was in the center. So now I'm going to retrace the template onto here. I'm not sure how well this will go on because I think this piece of carbon paper is worn out. I might end up having to get a different piece. Before I too, do too much, I'm going to check. Okay, now I have the templates on the wooden pieces. It wasn't easy because the transfer just wouldn't go onto the wood with stain on it the same way it would do if the wood was plain. So I had to really press hard with my pencil and then get a light tracing and then go over it with my pencil directly on the piece. So now I'm going to be using this Sharpie paint pen. I think it's a fine point and I'm going to fill in the entire template. So that's how I'm going to do it and I'm going to work on it off screen and just get it done and I'll be back. All right, here are all the signs filled in with the black. For the hands, I just traced it because I wasn't exactly sure how I could make it distinctively a hand and not a weird shape. So I think that turned out fine. I, I felt at first that this black was a little too, too much, too strong. So I definitely could have used a different color with my paint pens, but overall I think it's fine because I'm going to bring out a little bit more color to this project with some berries, maybe some leaves and a bow or something. But first I'm going to try to figure out how to get these attached. So I'm just going to use hot glue to attach it. I'm going to start with this middle piece and go from there. Uh, I don't know if it's okay. See, it turned out to be a good idea to make these signs smaller so you can see the steps in between lay down but anyway that's how it's looking so far i think that looks pretty good and now i'm going to try getting some color and some leaves and berries or something whatever okay i don't have any uh fall colored fake leaves i only have these green ones so i think what i'm going to do is paint these with this sunset, I mean this Tuscan red. And I also have this sunflower I'm going to add. And I have this packet of little beads that I got from Amazon at some point. Um, so I'm going to first of all use this Tuscan red on these leaves. And then I think I'm going to paint the little beads. These little beads. I'm going to paint these little beads with golden sunset and make them into like three piece berries like that and then glue that along with the Tuscan red leaves and see how that looks on the piece. I consider leaving the leaves green and when I put them on this piece they look awesome in my opinion <laughs> but I really wanted all fall colors and green is sort of a part of fall because there are a lot of trees that don't have all of their leaves turn yellow and reds and oranges. I'm just leaving that part of it out. I'm not going to stay with the green as much as I loved how it looked. I really wanted to do these, paint these this color. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides so that no green is showing. And I do have to let them dry because I tried doing some other ones and I and I used my um, heat gun on it and it started melting. <laughs> it started getting really, really soft and curling away from my fingers. So I thought, yeah, better not do that. So I'm going to take my time and do all of these and let them dry. But let me show you a piece that's finished like this. This is how it looks all dry and painted and so i'm going to do all these and be back okay now our paint is dry we can start putting the leaves onto the piece 
So I'm going to start here. I think, let me see, is this where I want it? Here, there, okay, yes. Let's put a little glue here. And a little glue on this one. Hoping I do it right here. I hope that sticks. I don't want to smash it. And let's do one here. I'll put it right here. Then we will glue the flower at the top. And then I think I have a little extra one. I'm just going to tuck under here. I'm going to twist this. It's Height and then cut off the excess and then just glue the back of the berries to the piece. Let's see how that works out. Like this. It's not ideal placement, but we'll try to do better in the next one too. Let's do it right there in that little gap here that I somehow made. There. And that, I think, is the project. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And comment below and let me know what you think of the project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.